trading on the global markets came to a screeching halt today. Regulators cite the worldwide economic crisis as the driving force behind the decision. With food and gasoline rapidly becoming scarce across the globe, militias are forming to fill the void of governments unable to provide basic services. We've lost power and heat. Does anyone know where we can find shelter? No place is safe. If anyone thinks you've got food, they'll kill you for it. Military weapons and vehicles, tanks, helicopters, they're taking whatever they want. Does anyone know what's going on? Moly. Have you seen this thing? It's like a battleship on wheels. I just saw a dozen tanks rolling to the south. It looks like somebody's taking charge, but who the hell are they? And if they can stop this chaos, then I'm on their side. Citizens of the world, we are pleased to announce that the Order of Nations is now restoring security and basic necessities on a global scale. The Order of Nations shot a man just for asking questions. I thought we were here to hell. Watch what you say. Every night more people are disappearing. I heard a resistance is forming. It's time to fight. Well guys, trying something a little bit different today. Um, this is the End of Nations beta. I haven't really touched it at all yet. I keep getting random emails. Um, they keep telling me that I am eligible for the beta and I just really didn't have time. But um, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> so, um, oh video, we're clicking it. I think this is to choose what side, I believe. So let's go ahead and watch it real quick. Um, it's looking like a Command and Conquer type game, an RTS. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Like, I seriously have no idea what the hell this game is about at all, so. <laughs> Um, quite a bit of different little units and such. Oh, oh. Kikush. Lots of different types of tanks. I only saw one infantry unit, or I only noticed one. That's not bad looking. Oh, there's some more. Oh, it wasn't actually a person, was it? Justice. Hmm. Doesn't sound deathly enough for me. Let's see. Oh, this bitch has a sniper rifle. Stealth range? Oh, this looks better already. Shadow Revolution! I don't know what that means. Hit and run drones. Those don't look like drones to me. <laughs> Reaper. Okay. Need helicopters. Simple stuff. Pretty fast. Helicopter versus helicopter. How the hell do they all win? It's that anti-air. No. Anti-infantry. <laughs> that doesn't seem very stealthy, like it mentioned. Okay, here we go. Anti-infantry. I don't still don't see any stealthy stuff to it. Oh! That's kind of cool, though. Some infantry! This is General Grievous over here. That's neat. Speed and vision. So it's pretty much like the helicopter on ground. <laughs> Look like the same stats to me. 
Order, security, and control. Shadow Revolution! I don't know. I'm, just, I'm sure I can change at any point in time. Support utility. Let's read all these. Player specializes in old aura style boons, support mechanics, and recovery powers. A few of its signature units include the heavy bomber, Ragnarok, Sharon repair unit, and the caustic gas spewing Hydra. Hmm. Spartan class specializes in large hulking units with high defenses and high damage outputs. Its final classes include from Colossus Tank, Quad Cannon, Titan Tank, and the heavily armored Guardian Infantry unit, blah blah blah. Break class specializes in speedy hit and run tactics, self repair, low reinforcement costs. Some of its most effective units include the Vulture Attack, Helicopter, Quick Strike, and Mortar, and the Pathfinding and Free unit, which excels at. at. at what? Hi? At what? F excels at what? Okay. <laughs> and the Pathfinder Infantrying and unit, which, yeah, that's say. The Phantom class specializes in stealth, precision, damage attacks, and hacking abilities. Ugh, hacking. The st Stalker Infantry Sniper, the Shadow... Hey, let's just click this. I saw Sniper. <laughs> um, of course. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through this tutorial video, try to learn something, and I'll let you guys know what happened. This tutorial covers the basics of gameplay for End of Nations. There are many more advanced features and strategies to learn after you've mastered these basics. I'm playing as a Liberation Front faction Spartan class commander. Depending upon your class and faction, your units, tactical structures, and commander abilities may appear different in the loadout tray. This is how you can select your units on the battlefield. You can left click the unit on the battlefield. You can left click the unit in the loadout tray. You can draw a box around them on the battlefield. Or you can select all of your units wherever they are on the battlefield by clicking Control plus A or hitting the Select All button. After you have your units selected, in order to move them, right-click on the battlefield. Most units within End of Nations will auto-attack as enemy units come within range. If you want more control, you can always right-click enemy units to attack them directly. If you lose track of your units, you can always right-click the unit icon within the loadout tray to focus the camera on that unit. It's important to capture control points, because often that's how you get increased resources, map super weapons, other special abilities, or in some cases, it's how you win the map. To capture a point, move your ground units to that location and stay there until the point turns green. Aircraft are unable to capture points. Units also have unit abilities. To use a unit ability, left click the icon above the tray. Some are offensive requiring you to target an enemy, while others are passive. To build a tactical structure, first left click on its unit icon within the loadout tray and then choose a location on the battlefield by left clicking. You cannot place a tactical structure if the placement square is red beneath the structure. To use a commander ability, first left click its icon in the loadout tray and then left click a location on the battlefield. Some maps also have super weapons. These super weapons, once captured, will be located at the top of your screen. To use them, left click their icon at the top of the screen, and then use them like you would a commander ability. When a unit is destroyed in battle, you'll notice that they turn red within the loadout tray. To reinforce, click the unit in the loadout tray and it will be dropped off at your currently selected landing zone. Units will cost different amounts of tactical resources to reinforce. End of Nations uses a traditional rock, paper, scissors mechanic. When I click on the Titan tank, you'll notice that its information panel appears on the right hand side. The green icon means the Titan will deal extra damage to that unit type. 
The yellow icon means the Titan will deal above average damage to that unit type. The gray icon means the Titan will deal normal damage to that unit type. While the red icon means the Titan cannot attack that type of unit. In this case, the Titan cannot attack air units. Thanks for watching. After this video ends, you'll be taken to our tutorial, Assault on Widow's Wall. If you want to view this video again, click on the Help button in the War Room. Pretty much all I learned from that was blah blah blah. Kill stuff. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to click deploy and see what happens. Yeah, we'll use a tutorial. My other players, I don't want to play against somebody yet. She has big old titty. <clears throat> big old hunk. Mm. Yeah. You know. The hell is that guy? <laughs> Jesus. Be able Welcome to the Proving Grounds, uh. Commander. Here you will learn how to use your command interface. Okay. First, let's take a look around. To move your camera view, use the arrow keys on your keyboard or move your cursor to the edge of your display. Move your camera view to the right until you see the landing zone. Good work, Commander. You can also zoom your camera view in and out with your mouse. Womp, womp, womp. Looks like you womp, have womp, 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 womp. Move your camera back to the initial drop zone so we can continue. Now let's learn how to give orders. We've deployed a few vehicles at your drop zone. Position your cursor over a vehicle and left click to select it. No. With the vehicle selected, right click inside the highlighted circle to move. Yep. Gotcha. Awaiting your orders. Well, the right click the uh, indicated destination. Where are we going? Right here? Where are we going? Oh, over here. <laughs> I'm not paying attention very much. Outstanding, Commander. Fantastic. You can also select multiple vehicles simultaneously. Hold down the left mouse button and drag the cursor diagonally across the units you wish to select. When all vehicles are highlighted, release the mouse button to select them. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. Well done. Let's move on. Here is your company tray, which allows you to control all your vehicles and infantry. Chikoom. Chikoom, chikoom. Chikoom, chikoom. Oh. Good. You can also select all your units simultaneously by clicking the Select All button. It comes in handy when you want to issue the same order to all your units at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, cool. Fire Circle Crunch deals a lot of damage to certain things. Buildings. Artillery. Okay. Did Facebook get a lot harder or something? Oh, I guess that's not what. Where am I going? Oh, press continue. <laughs> You'll notice that there are other unit icons in the company tray which are not on the battlefield. These are reinforcements which can be delivered if you have available resources. Where are my resources at? Exercise, oh, 2000 I guess. enough resources to field several more units. Click on each of the red unit icons in your company tray to deploy them at the drop zone. Where's the drop zone? Kagoosh! Hey -o. Next! Do we get to change what unit we want? Good. The gang's all here. For the next exercise, select all of your units and move to the next location. Got it. Use the provided arrow to find the destination. Remember that you can use the select all button to select all your units simultaneously. They're just tearing up these trees. Look at them. I move out my way. Excellent, Commander. Here is your radar, which provides a view of the entire battlefield. Note the drop zone you started at to the southwest. Your units appear as green pips on the radar display. Using the radar, you can direct units anywhere on the battlefield without moving your camera. Sorry. Select all your units and right click the highlighted destination in the radar. Got it. Done. Why is the blip not really on it? <laughs> I can look all the way here. Damn, I'm taking down these trees all wild. Sounds like explosions. It is also possible to move your camera view using the radar. Yep. You can also zoom the radar in and out using the radar zoom controls. Got it. Easy stuff. 
You can view a larger version of the radar by left clicking the expand button. Try this now. All oh. commands can be issued through this <laughs> radar screen. Gotta just put it right there. <laughs> Leave on, it there. Close the radar and we'll continue. Boing, 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 boing. That You're was me. Great, Commander. Next, let's learn about control points. There are several varieties, Please be G. Please. All of them are essential for victory. Oh, that's Capture stupid. a control point. Move your units within range. When the icon changes to green, it means it's yep. under your control. Going. There's a resource point nearby, highlighted on your radar. Move your units within range to that control point to capture it. Yeah, we're being loud, just taking out trees. Nobody will know we're here. Kadoosh, kadoosh. That's it. You've reached Man. the control point. Notice the control point icon Doop. shows you are Doop. in the process of Doop. capturing this valuable Doop. resource. Nope. No I was expecting to get the other way. Let's capture a landing zone. Landing zones allow you to deploy units closer to the front lines and are essential for an army on the move. What if I don't want to move? Landing zone. Remember to use all your units to capture it as quickly as possible. Uh, I wonder if I can nuke myself. Oh, You've nope. captured a new landing zone, Commander. This will allow you to bring Ooh, hey. to this location. Do I get this helicopter Since or this plane? more than one landing zone available. You need to choose which one to deploy at. Position your cursor over the landing zone icon and left click. Then yeah. choose select landing zone. Yeah. Let's bring in some additional reinforcements. Sweet. New points. Resources available to deploy several infantry. Can I just click them all? Infantry can. You're Oops. definitely getting the hang of this, Commander. I now that you have heard infantry and I cut them off. <laughs> Let me show you how they're different from one another. Mm, oh, that just took out my tanks. Good job. Who? Gavour, Commander. Is battle upon us? Guardian ready to kill. Chain gun infantry here, Commander. Chain gun infantry. Okay. Oh, you're definitely getting hang of this, Commander. Now that you have more than one type of unit, let me show you. Okay. There are many types of units you'll have access to. Though they comprise the best fighting force ever assembled, no single unit is good at everything. For example, tanks are great versus artillery. Cool. And small assault vehicles. But they're but. useless versus air units. Uh oh. As you continue your career, you'll learn what the best tool for the job is, when to fight, and when to retreat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Support. Blow shit up. Battle, you can move your cursor over battle? I'm gonna try battle. I'm gonna try battle. Come on. To view all its strengths and weaknesses. Oh, this is taking a long time. Oh, I get so bored with tutorials. For example, this tank is good versus heavy and light vehicles. What tank? Has normal damage versus infantry Which tank? My tank? Cannot attack air this infantry unit is good versus oh. light vehicles and other infantry. However, it isn't very effective versus other unit types, but it can attack aircraft. Hmm. Its range is poopy. There is more information available for both friendly and enemy units, which you can explore between battles. Take the time to familiarize yourself bah, bah, with bah, your bah, units bah, 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 bah. as well as the enemies. In addition to control points, let's go take out some defense factories on the battlefield which help you gain the upper hand factories are a good example of this they provide benefits like, like support, support units, units defense, defense weapons, weapons and additional, additional firepower. firepower move your units to the highlighted factory cool that's the factory right there commander now position your cursor oh i can get turret defenses icon. with that Left okay and select upgrade no this is nonsense Guardian locks itself into place, adding additional 50% weapon range. Wow, 25% vision. Wow. 20 huh. Who, which guys are this? Guardian seeks. Oh. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? Upgrade the factory. How do I do that? Factory, hey. Upgrade complete. See all those turrets? Upgrading a factory can make a big difference in defending the battlefield. Okay, Commander, it's time to get some combat practice. Yeah! Move units to the next highlighted landing zone. Zone. And we'll tackle a few on. unmanned targets. Unmanned? What? Can I upgrade this again? Man, these guys are slow. Look at them go. Are they supposed to? Oh, yeah, they're definitely slower. Come on! Slow pokes this yeah I don't know what that is take out the tree yep bastards Guardian moving. Watching our back. 
<laughs> so slow. What's this button? Cannon turret. Need to move units forward while keeping an eye on your supporting landing zone. Tactical structures can help keep a landing zone safe from your enemy capture. Structures are deployed in a different manner. They can be placed anywhere you have visibility on the battlefield. Left click on a structure icon in your company tray and left click to place it near this landing zone. The structure highlights red if it cannot be placed at that nice There we go. The number of tactical structures you can field is huh. limited. So you'll need to choose carefully. Oh. You need to move a place tactical. Oh, so this is as many units as I can have. Elsewhere. Doing so will cost hmm. time and resources. Okay, on to the target practice. Yeah, let's blow shit up. First series of targets now. Notice they appear red on your radar, indicating they are enemy units. Move your units within range and destroy these targets. Blow them up. To do this, select your units, position the cursor over an enemy target, and right-click to open fire. Nice shooting. Notice your units automatically fire on the next target if there is one. Continue to fire until all enemy targets have been destroyed. It looks like you've reduced them to ashes, Commander. Yeah, I'm a badass. What can I say? A little tougher to shoot at. Uh oh. This second set of targets is a little more difficult. A standard attack will probably take too long, so you'll need to use special I unit abilities that. to quickly defeat them. Nearly every unit in our arsenal has a special unit ability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Unit, its special ability button appears above the company tray. Use your special unit ability X to take out this next series of targets. Mm, Some right. special abilities are limited to a short burst of fire before they need to recharge. Others may need to be targeted directly on an enemy blah, unit. Blah 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 blah, blah 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 Oh yeah! We can reach him. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. It's pretty much we can blow shit up. Good job, Commander. Oh, I wasn't done yet. We have a number of unmanned aircraft to eliminate. Uh oh. Move to engage the aircraft indicated on your radar. Um where are they? Well, how my freaking gun things won't be able to do anything. My tanks. Did you say you're gonna watch them? Huh. <laughs> yeah, my tanks are worthless. I got it. Which at any time? I don't get it. What just happened? Well, I just mean. What's that stuff? Construct new companies in the armory when you are not in battle. What's that blue thing over them? Okay. We're getting close to the end of your training, Commander. Let's learn about another type of control point which cool. is capable of providing additional firepower. Uh oh. Move to the uh -oh. highlighted control point. <laughs> this type of control point is called a command point. It provides access to a weapon of immense power. Oh. Moving your unit to oh. range has already begun the transfer of ownership. Control point captured. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead and grab one of the weapons by right-clicking on the deployed containers nearby. These are often referred to as super weapons due to their destructive capability. 
You now have access to a tactical nuclear superweapon and the resources to use it, Commander. The control what? for this weapon has been highlighted. Destroy the nearby enemies with the superweapon. Left click the icon, then left click the desired <laughs> area to launch. Well, let's move this one guy, just so we can see what the hell we're doing. You ain't got shit on me! Move closer, dude. of raw destructive power using a super weapon did he really survive resources. and each one acquired can only be fired once here's a slide again collect another of the deployed containers it's time for your final lesson commander we're going to take on a number of enemy units in a live fire exercise these enemies will be deployed throughout the area you'll need to use mm -hmm. everything you've learned to survive to I have no idea what I'm doing mission, anymore I've who's this for one of our heroes to help out say hello to sidewinder she looks like a little slut. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. She doesn't look very stealthy. I thought this was all st stealthy like. You can add a hero to any company if you have the room to do so. You recruit heroes in the armory. Like other units, they have special unit abilities which mm. can be used when the time is right. Targets are incoming, Commander. Defend this area and destroy How? all incoming what am I doing? units. Remember to use your super weapon and any tactical structures you have available. What does this bitch do? Units, you can deploy reinforcements at your landing zone. Good luck. Acid missile burst. Summer sprays a cloud of acid over a target area that deals 100 damage per second. Grand use heavy rain in the cloud. Hmm. Wait, I have to go over there? I don't want to go over there. They can come to me. What's going on here? Like, they're a way to Moving get health position. back? Watching your back. Roger, setting up angle of attack now. Well, I guess I'll just walk this way. 240 second cooldown! Oh shit, oh shit, they are coming towards me. Um, um, um. 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 Come on! It's this button. Cannon turret. <laughs> Is this like pussy move here? Man, these things get up quick. Bring them on. Where do they go? There they are. Yeah, buddy. Hmm. Good start. Remember that your units have special abilities. Easy stuff. See this roll. Wee 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 wee. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> Um. Anything else? I guess I can just advance out there. They are. Oh shit! Go back! Go back! Go back! Bad idea. Change my mind. Um. 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 I don't think I can really do anything else. I don't have any buttons. Final wave. This is going to be the toughest battle yet. Easy. Get this helicopter. Has arrived. Get over here. Got my nuke ready. I'm 
ready for this. Where are they? Oh, what's this guy? Go back a little bit. I have range on these guys, looks like. No biggie. Oh, this guy's almost done for already. Get you some, get you some. <laughs> Next. This is easy stuff. Might as well nuke him, I guess. Gigoosh. Excellent work. That huh. was a first That's it. class example of leadership. I think you're ready for the war, Commander. That's enough for now. I can tell you're itching to get to the front line. Yeah, I wanna blow shit up. Hmm. Well guys, um End of Nations tutorial? Kinda boring if I don't really know what I'm well, it's not boring. Ba 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 ba. You're to continue experimenting here. here. Press the escape key. key and select retreat to move on to the war room. Unit inbound. But um oh. Whoa, what was that? Unit has arrived. What what just happened? Uh anyway. Um yeah, so uh uh, might be a little bit boring for now, but um, I'm gonna try to mess with it a little bit, see how it is, maybe get some content out with it. But um, yeah, this is a right now free beta for like two weeks, I think, <laughs> if that. Um, so look it up, see if you can get in it. If you guys do, just let me know. Um, just gonna be messing around with it here and there, nothing too serious. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, tell me, if you guys already played it, tell me how absolutely terrible I just played that. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.